Hi everybody, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today I got requested to make this video a very long time ago and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, it's a video on how to change any jewelry piercing you have, no matter how stuck it is. And the main reason why I got asked to make a video about it is because people were like, how do you do that with these claws? And I'll tell you what, it was quite a struggle until I figured it out and I also talked to my piercer. So now I know how to do it and I never have that fear of like, I'm trying to like think of a situation. There's been many times that I've had jewelry stuck in my face and I needed to get it out. And I was like, okay, like you start getting that little panicky feeling. That's what this video is for. And I hope it can help someone out there. At least that person who requested me to make this video. You are going to need some tools to do this. Uh, if you were expecting this to be free, I'm sorry, it's not. Um, there's no like magical way to do it unless if you get these tools, but it is very worth it, definitely. A purchase I don't regret and I use often especially when I'm changing my septum rings because I have a stretched septum and if you know anything about the tension rings I forget what the heck they're called it's really hard to open them up anyways I'll tell you what they are and I will also look up the price of all of them so you guys can see how much it is to get all of this stuff you can get a hemostat which is the first thing you need and I'll show you it sorry my cat this is the little pouch that I have all my tools in. Um, so first you're gonna need a hemostat. You'll see piercers use this a lot. If it can focus, it's um, one of those things where it locks and unlocks. So you're able to grab, lock onto a piercing and it's very helpful. Anyways, you can get one on Amazon for $5.49. It's quite the steal, I'll tell you what. And this is the exact thing that I got. And I got it off of Body Art Forms, which is where I get like almost all my plugs. It's a great website. Um, and it's called Ring Opener Slash Closure Zipper Case. And it is $22, but you get a ring opener and a ring closer. So I will show you those. So this is a ring closer. Closer. So you put it on a ring and then you're able to close it and tighten it up if you had to open it. What you would use for that is the ring opener and it has different divots for different sized rings and then you just are able to use it to open up rings. Great, so we got all the tools out of the way. So that whole kit that I have right here with the ring opener and closer is $22. And then a hemostat is five bucks. So less than $30, that's all you need. And you get bonus points if you have those gloves, but honestly, I haven't really had to use them. If you're worried about like, if you have a really finicky stuck piercing, definitely get some gloves. So you're able to get a grip on like the balls. So I will kind of demonstrate how I do all of this real quick. So you guys are kind of picking up what I'm putting down. So I'm gonna get a little, little close. Hey girl. <laughs> so I can um, show you with my lip piercing how I change it. So first I go like this to stick the bar out because I'm gonna use the hemostat to grab on the bar and then lock it. So now it is on my ring nice and tight she ain't going anywhere there's a little lock down there and now i just take the ball and unscrews and this is really helpful for lip piercings especially if you have like a bar in because my thing when you're taking out lip piercings, sometimes when you're trying to unscrew the ball it just like spins and i know you know what i'm talking about if you have a lip piercing as well um and it's annoying it is so annoying and i remember that was my issue and she was like my piercer was like girl you just need a hemostat that's what i use and i said purr that's the basic like what you would need to do for any other piercing like if i wanted to take out my bridge piercing same thing i'm not gonna do it because it's still a newer piercing um but you would take the hemostat probably push it to one side take the hemostat lock it right there and then unscrew the ball um, and that really helps with long nails so you don't have both going at the same time. It's a lifesaver, I'll tell you what. And also, the hemostat is helpful for grabbing a hold of things when you got long nails. So this is the bar for my lip piercing and I have it attached on the flat part on the back. So it helps me put the bar back in without having my fingers all in my mouth. You can also take the ball and you can center the ball on the hemostat so the whole of it is right on the tip of it. So then I can just Screw it on. Wow. 
block that he missed out on the bar again, she's back on. So I hope that all made sense. Um, pretty much this is just your extendo arms because you know, my hands have all kinds of other things going on on it. Um, it's really good for being able to guide the piercing or like guide the jewelry back through the piercing hole. Now I'm gonna show you with my septum ring how I take it out. Cause like I said, it's stretched. So the kind of ring I have in, let me see if I can turn it. So I have one of these ones in and this is one bar that is just held in solely with some tension and it is hard to get out when it's a super thick piece of jewelry like this one. And this isn't even like as thick as it can go. So what I first do is I attach the hemostat on the tip there so I don't lose it. And I can let it dangle from my nose, but if you can't, don't force it. And then you're gonna take the ring opener. Oh my God, and this needs so much pressure, dude. You wanna know what hurts is my hand. There we go. And now we got that out. Now we got that out. And the reason why I attach the small bar to the hemostat, it's so it doesn't just like fall down and you lose it. Pretty much for this, you're gonna do the same thing with the ring opener and then just try to line it up and put it back in. It's annoying, but it will go in. You just have to try to line it up in a very specific way. Got to lean in for this one. Okay. And now we got Miss Ma'am back in. Again, I don't really use the ring closer too much. I mainly used it for like nostril piercings. Um, this is one of the ones where like, it just like flips open, like it clicks open. So I don't have any issues with it. If you look on the inside, there's like little divots inside this, right? So you would just line it up with the ring and then close it. I don't wanna bend this jewelry, so I'm not gonna do it. But for my septum ring, to make sure it's all tight, because sometimes if you mess with the ring opener too much, it can warp it and make it a little too loose. I'm just gonna take this. Once it's on there good, just give it a nice little squeeze and make sure she is all tight on there. I know this was kind of a simple, straight to the point video, but I hope I could help anyone out there who has had any issues with jewelry sticking and being stuck in them and they can't get it out. I highly recommend these three tools. They are such a lifesaver, especially if you're heavily pierced like yours truly. And also if you don't wanna be making trips all the time to see your piercer to change it for you because um, me personally, like it's a 30 minute drive to see my piercer and they also have a fee. It's very helpful to figure it out yourself and also do it in a way that's more gentle than you just like prying at your face for like hours. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful and I will see you next week with a new video. All right, love you guys, bye.